I'm overthinking it clearly. Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I had a couple of last minute things that I wanted to do to fully move into my apartment to make this place a home, whether it's organizing, decorating, all the above. So I thought I'd take you guys with me as I did it. Let's just get started. So this is the current state of my kitchen. There's a few things that I want to rearrange on the counters, but the majority of the things that I want to do are inside of the cabinets and the drawers. For example, this is the biggest one that I really want to work on is my plates and my bowls and my cups. The biggest thing that I really want to do is move these shelves down because it drives me insane how high I have to reach for them. One thing that I'm debating though is if I should move anything around. So when I first moved into this apartment, I put everything in here. That was kind of my thought process. I'm just going to put stuff away. I'm going to live in it for a little while and see what I like, what I don't like and then adjust it after that. I put all my plates, my bowls, and especially my cups in here. Everyone told me that I should move my cups. The reason I put them here is because it's closest to the island, which is right here, and it's also closest to my dishwasher, which is right here as well. So I thought it's just kind of easier to put everything away. And then if I'm cooking, if I'm assembling, I kind of do most of it on my island, so it's just, it's in reach. But a lot of people told me that I should move my cups closest to my fridge, because that makes sense, right? Filling up the water, getting drinks, that makes sense. But the issue is, I feel like I've gotten so used to having the cups right here, but I'm like, I don't know if I I want to move them around because I'm so used to it, but maybe I'll be used to it over there. I feel like I normally have my cups, my plates, and my bowls together, especially my plates and my bowls. I want to keep those together for sure, but I normally have my cups with them. I'm overthinking it clearly. I'm just trying to think of like what makes the most sense feng shui wise or even just functionability, accessibility, usability. Just trying to decide what makes the most sense for me. I think the first thing that I do want to do though is move the shelves down because I think that will make it a lot easier for me to decide because my other option is moving the cups from here to over here closest to the fridge. I just don't know if I like that or not. I have a bunch of appliances and things that I also have random water bottles. These should not be in here. I just kind of put them away, but I have like my blender. This is not my blender. This is what is it called? A hand mixer. So I'm trying to decide if I want to put my cups in here. I guess it makes the most sense, but I'm just not used to them being there. I haven't made a single decision yet, but I'm already feeling decision fatigue. <laughs> I'm just an indecisive person, something I'm working on. So today we're going to tackle my indecisiveness as we tackle my work organization. But once again, first things first, we're going to move the shelves down. I think that will make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Trying to make this look nice, this angle. What do we think? Yeah, okay, let's do it. I don't know how I'm going to get these out because these cabinets kind of block it and I really don't want this to be that high up. I know I can take it down. I feel like this will be a lot of work. I don't know if it's going to be able to come down now. I'm already sweating. I've barely done anything. And I'm dripping with sweat. I don't mean to be dramatic, but I am. Do you guys see what I'm talking about when I try to pull it out? This gets in the way. And so I need to figure out a way of getting these out. There's top and bottom of these. How do I do this? We're gonna figure it out. If it kills us, we will figure this out. I got it! Victory! Okay, now the hard part. Well, actually, no, that was the hard part. How do I get down? I'm like, oh, 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 my pants like almost got stuck in the, in the handle. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, now we need to figure out where I want to put it. I'm thinking maybe here. Is that too low? What do we think? I am sweating though. I have like sweat on my mustache area. Getting these little plastic thingies out though is a lot harder than it looks. I'm gonna do the fourth prong. Moment of truth. Will this go back in? Fingers crossed we're gonna go with yes. Yay! Woo! Ugh, getting down is hard. Now I have to do this all again, many more times. Let's put the cups and or bowls in the back. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I'll be able to have room to like reach these, and these can stack even higher. Which I mean, I maybe like that much more. But and then I'm easy. Part of me wishes I would have gone lower. I mean, like these aren't that high. It's definitely a lot easier to get, but they're still kind of a reach. Should I have gone lower? I don't know if it's a big enough difference for me to do it all over again. However, we are going to have to do it all over again for this. I just don't know if I want to do this all over again. I'm standing on my tiptoes. Take two. Oh, there's writing up here on top of my cabinet. There's like words. being honest that took me way longer than it should have but let me show you guys it before i do i found this little tool in my toolbox which made it easier to get these things so i basically had to like flatten them and scooch the shelf off and i'm out of breath 
Okay, this is what it looks like. I think it looks much nicer. I can easily reach my water bottles. Of course, I'll have to be on my tippy toes, but at least I don't have to crawl on the counter every time to get them. Plates and cups are still in reach, and then these are easier to access. I'm still undecided about moving the cups. I think I like them there just because I'm used to it, but again, who knows? Maybe in a couple months we'll do another reorganizing video and I'll hate it. The next thing that I really want to work on is my drawers. Those are a mess. When I moved into this apartment, I didn't organize anything in my drawers. I just had everything in there and then was like, I'll figure it out later. I'm going to show this to you. Don't judge me. This is what it looks like. It's just everything was thrown in here. I just had this. This wasn't even for organization. It was, I just put it there. So this is the first thing that I really want to organize. I think I have some non-slip mats from my last apartment that I'm going to see if I can rearrange and fit in here. But by the way, these other drawers, I really like how I did them. Like this is my dish towels, washcloths, oven mitt. My oven mitts are disgusting. Maybe I need to wash them. I also have this one with the cutting boards and then I have this one down here for a Ziploc baggie. So I like all of those except for this one. This one right here, I really want to get a new silverware holder. This one fit in my other one, but it's too long this way, but it fits this way. It's not the most practical or functional, but I mean, it works. And then I put one of these drawer organizers back here so it wouldn't slip. Although I do have to adjust this like every five seconds because it does move every time I open it. I just adjusted it this morning. I'm wondering if, like, if I should put anything back here because there's some nice storage, but I ideally would want to change this organizer soon. So I'm not too invested in it. not obsessed with it but it is a smaller drawer the last drawer that i put all this stuff in was like double the size this apartment just has kind of smaller drawers than my last one does so this just feels a little chaotic and overwhelmed and my last one everything was like all spaced out apart and nice but that's okay i think that this is nice i have like my measuring cups and spoons here i have like spatulas and then i have one pair of like shears but this is other kitchen utensils so i think that it makes sense to me it may not look beautiful now i'm about to show you guys the drawers that i've really been putting off i ideally want to make this my tech drawer and this my junk drawer this one has really like look at that <laughs> so embarrassing it looks horrible i'm very embarrassed about this one and then this is my tech drawer which has also turned into an overflow junk drawer because this is too full so i think that i want to just take everything out of these and then reorganize it from scratch I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. We have this one. So I thought this was going to take the entire drawer, but it only took about half the drawer for my tech stuff. So this is just like my SD cards, my batteries. And then I have this little thing here. The, all these little containers are from Target. I really like them because they're kind of bendy. So if they were acrylic or plastic, I wouldn't be able to fit them. Like see how this one's just like slightly too small, but it bends to make room, which I really like. So I have all my tech stuff here. And then I have like some scissors. I have a bunch of pens. I'm a big pen girly. So I have pens, I have Sharpies. Kind of unsure if I want to keep it like this because I don't really use Sharpies that often, but they're there. Then I have my sunglasses. Glasses. I have some like chopstick and ham creams and just a bunch of little stuff. So I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. I feel like they're decently organized and I'll know where everything is. So love that. I'll link these little containers down below for you guys. I think they're like $2 for like a five pack or something like that. I really like them. I have them everywhere. I have them in my bathroom. I have them in my vanity. Everywhere. So we have that. There's only one other thing that I think I want to do for my kitchen and I'm kind of unsure if it's going to look good. Here's everything on the counter. So my issue that I'm facing is whenever I'm cooking, I always use this stove top and I have this little tray right here that I use to put any kind of like spatula or anything that I'm cooking and I feel like I keep forgetting that it's over here so part of me wants to switch this out I like the knife block on this side because I normally cook on my kitchen island so it's over there I wonder if this is gonna look weird Okay, let's see that. I can't decide if it looks weird or not. What do you guys think? Because it's just like a little break there. It's not the end of the world. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I think I'm going to keep it like that. I also want to know your guys' thoughts. I've seen people put like cutting boards and like wooden decor behind their stovetop, but there's this. So I don't know if that's going to be an issue. Like, I don't know if that will somehow ruin anything that I have back there, but I would like to decorate this if possible. Let me know your guys' thoughts and if you know what this thing is. I don't know what this is. I could put it like here. Oh, but there also is a little thing there. I just don't know. But I feel like it needs need something back there and I see people on Pinterest suit all the time maybe they remove it every time they cook but if I'm being honest I don't want to do that that sounds like way too much work I want it to be pretty but I also want it to be user friendly and accessible and not a hassle every single time I cook 
I've been putting this off way too long. So my bathroom, which we're currently in, doesn't really have the best lighting. It's kind of dark in here and pretty yellow. I feel like I've like adjusted the camera settings to make it a little bit better, but I can't get ready in here because I can't really see what I look like because the lighting is so off. So I got these mirrors. I, no, I didn't get these mirrors. I got these lights. I actually got other lights, but I didn't think they were bright enough. So I'll link these down below. These are Hollywood mirror lights. And I thought that I could put them around my mirror and just make it overall brighter. I'm really hoping this will help. I really want to be able to film in here and like do like get ready with me and stuff. It's just not the best lighting. So we're gonna put these bad boys up. I kinda wanna see if they turn on first before I put them all up. I'm a little afraid that they're not gonna be big enough because this mirror is pretty big. Will these turn on? Oh, they will. Ah, uh, this is the only setting. Boo. <gasps> oh, let's put these up. <laughs> Ideally, what I'm wanting to do is put them around this mirror, but there's not that many of them and this mirror is pretty big, but we're gonna see. It's super tangled, so this is gonna take me a while to detangle. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to you guys once I'm able to actually set them up without them being in a giant knot. What do you guys think? I don't know how I feel. I was kind of expecting them to be brighter than they are, but maybe I just had like way too much expectations for them. The lighting with them still sucks. Like I need them to be brighter, but this is it with them. This is it without them. I do think it makes a difference. Wow, it makes a big difference. I was like kind of like, oh, it doesn't really do much. No, it does quite a bit. On, off, on, off. Yeah, definitely keeping them. I was hoping it'd be a little bit brighter, but maybe I'm just being too greedy. Do we think they look nice? They're not perfectly even and they're not perfectly like in a straight line but I did the best I could. <laughs> Next up I have this little closet back here. It's a little, not a linen closet, coat closet and I want to put some shelves in there. I initially had some shelves from Ikea that I had in my last apartment that I wanted to put in there but it was like slightly too big like this much too big. So this is the closet the issue is the door is really small like this is a lot smaller than a standard door obviously it's just a closet but I want to put some shelves in here so we need to measure it Okay we're going to start off by measuring the door that looks like about 22 inches and then let's measure inside of here. 36 inches. Let's see how tall it is from this bar so we can see how tall it is. I have a small business that I run out of my apartment and I want to put some of my inventory in here. So I get a shelf to put in here for it. Okay, that's 70 inches. I wish I wrote this down because I just forgot everything. I think this is 36, right? 36, 22. Okay. Let's look on Amazon. I think this one right here might be the one that works the best because it needs to be able to hold a lot of stuff. So here are the measurements for it. Oh, you can move that up and down. That's really nice. Yeah, I think that this is the one that I'm going to go with because hopefully it will fit in there. If not, I can always build it inside the closet. The issue with my other one was it was an Ikea one. A lot of people said I could like take apart Ikea, but I don't trust myself to be able to put that back together afterwards. So I ended up giving it away, but I think this is the one I'm going to go with and then I can put some of my inventory in that closet. Closet. I'm just looking at the reviews to make sure and this looks like it can hold pretty heavy stuff Like this is a lot of stuff on here and the cans are pretty heavy. So it should be fine Yeah, like this has to be able to hold a lot of stuff. Also someone's cat was in this or a dog Wait, where was it? Look at it cute and we're ordering it. It should be here by tomorrow, which is crazy I wonder if I'll build it in this vlog or in another one Okay, next up, we have a laundry list of things to do today. I actually made a to-do list of things I want to do for my apartment. Next up is I want to decorate my shelves. These shelves right here. So I actually did decorate them in another one of my moving vlogs. These shelves were not drilled into the wall when I did that. So I eventually had to take everything off to be able to drill them back into the wall. But we finally did it. <laughs> and I got some more decor, just like a few other little things from Goodwill. I made a whole thrifting vlog. But I want to put the decor back on these shelves. First, I need to clean them because there's a lot of drywall dust on them from when we drilled them into the wall. I I think I'm gonna decorate them for the most part the same as the way I have them in the other vlog, but I do have a little bit more decor, like I said, so I wanna change it up. I'm going to clear off my kitchen island and then bring all the decor out here and then we can start decorating. If you guys don't know, decorating is like my favorite part of existing. I just love it so much. I'm not claiming that I'm great at it, but I do enjoy it. I'm a strong believer that you don't have to be good at something to like it, even though I have a really hard time liking things that I'm not good at. But it's okay, we're gonna decorate it and it's gonna turn out cute. I trust myself. Well, no, not really. But I'm also here and open for your guys' suggestions on any ways you guys think I can make this better. Thank you. 
Okay, here's how they turned out. I like them. I just don't like this one. I feel like that one needs something a little bit taller. So I'll think on that because I don't really have anything tall enough for that. But also that shelf needs to be tightened a little bit because it's like kind of wobbly. But I'll do that another day. Do you guys remember when I was like, oh, we're, oh, ow, ow, ow. I just, okay, start over, rewind. Remember when I was like, we're done with the kitchen. It's all organized. That was not the truth. You wanna know why? I forgot about my pantry. When I moved in here, I simply just put stuff in the pantry. I didn't organize, I just set things in here and it has been driving me insane. This is actually the number one thing that I wanted to do on my list when organizing my kitchen. And I don't know how, but when I was organizing these cabinets and drawers, I forgot about the most important thing. This pantry drives me insane because there's no organization to it. I can never find anything in it because it's not organized because I never organized it. So I'm very, very, very excited to do that today. Like I'm pumped. I wanna start by taking everything out and then we can adjust the shelves again but it's just it's a mess also another issue with this pantry i hope this doesn't come off as me complaining this kitchen has so much storage it's insane my last kitchen the pantry was bigger this pantry is very deep and so i feel like that's one thing that i really struggle with is things will be so far in the back that i don't see them and i'm considering buying organizers but i also am trying to be in like a no spend era right now where i'm not trying to spend my money on anything that's not necessary so i don't know we're just gonna start by taking everything out though So here's everything. So I have some stuff over here and then I have all of this stuff right here. This is what they look like. I think I'm gonna keep that up there. And then I want to move some of these. I'm gonna take this out. I think I wanna have my alcohol at the very bottom of here. I'm also considering maybe putting it in here. Let's see, this is the tallest thing that I have. I had some like Sprite and protein drinks down, down there and I moved it in here. I wonder, will this fit? It would fit if I moved the shelf, but I don't really know if I want to do that. But I mean, I am going to move this shelf anyways. I need to move it so it will fit this, because this is the tallest one that we have here. Okay, that's not going to be too bad. Now my next thing that I need to figure out is how I want to arrange everything. I think I might want to move this one down a little bit. I don't know where I want to put stuff. I don't know. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. It made me realize I don't have as much stuff as I thought. I didn't end up moving this one and I might in the future, but we'll see. Down here, I have all my alcohol mixers and then I just have some random like PB2 because I don't really use it that often. This honestly is kind of a shelf that I don't reach for too often. This one, I don't have anything in the back, but this is all my sauces and I don't even know, like season, not even seasonings, you know, you know, the stuff. This is stuff. <laughs> This is stuff that I reach for quite often. So I have protein powder pre-workout and then I have some like medication Like ibuprofen and then I have some vitamins back there up here I have like my cooking oils and I wanted like these two things to be the things that I reach for the most I'm kind of considering maybe moving those up here, you know Maybe I should, but then that means I'd have to move the shelf because I think that might be tall. And I don't really reach for these that often, so I'm fine with them. I have them in this clear acrylic drawer type thing so I can just like pull it out and see what I have. Because I found that when I would just have things like sitting there, I wouldn't know what I had. But I have, I use these like cooking oils quite a bit. And then I just have some back stock of seasonings back there. And then just like protein snacks and little snacky things. When I have snacks on hand, I don't really have anything right now because I need to go grocery shopping, but I'll put them here maybe here and then up here i have my pastas and then i have some like pancake mix back here and then this is almost like my dry cooking ingredient so i have nutritional yeast i have breadcrumbs things like that and i like that i can pull it out and then that's that and then up there i just have paper towels and some distilled white vinegar i'm still debating if i want to put this here but i don't really use it that often i don't know i think i'm gonna live in it for a little while these are the things that i reach for the most are like right there next up we're about to do something i've never done before and do not make fun of me. I mean, you can make fun of me. Make fun of me all you want. I'm gonna do something I've never done before and that is hang a picture to the wall. 
I've only ever used command trips because I was always in college or something like that and I didn't want to puncture any holes into the wall I'm still renting this apartment. I don't own it, but I've already punctured a bunch of holes in the wall Like what's two more? I have this frame that I really like I'll show it to you guys in a second But the reason I want to hang it with nails instead of hanging it with command trips is because I want to change out the photo in it Interchangeably whenever I feel like it and if I have command trips I have to like re-command strip it to the wall and if I just nail it into the wall I can just put it up take it down let me show it to you guys. This is her. I recently got this new print. I'll link it down below, but I have like five prints behind this frame. So it's still sitting inside the frame. It's just behind the photo. So whenever I feel like changing it out, I have some for different seasons. Like I have some Halloween prints. I have some fall prints. I'll get some Christmas prints and I want to be able to change them out and just kind of change the vibe whenever I feel like it. And so that's why I want to hang it to the wall, but I've never hung a photo to the wall before. Honestly, I feel like that's embarrassing to admit I'm 23 years old and I've never done that, but it is what it is. I think I'm going to watch a YouTube video on how to do it. I think I I know like i'm pretty sure i've seen people do it but i just would rather be safe than sorry and do things right the first way and not have to do it again so let's go find a youtube video this is almost like a humbling experience having to research how to do this at my age i think the fun thing and the also not so fun thing about being in your 20s is doing things for the first time figuring out things for the first time and that's what we're doing how to hang a picture okay other people google this so it's not just me you can eyeball. first things first i don't know exactly where i want it on the wall or how high i want it and i'm a very visual person so i've seen this trick a bunch of times where you map it out with wrapping paper so i'm gonna trace with wrapping paper cut it out and then hang it to the wall the wrapping paper to the wall and see how high i want it because i'd rather do this one time and not many like i said like this last time i hung it way too low like last time i hung it to like here and i know that some people are gonna say that it's still too low but i always have to keep in mind whenever i do anything for my apartment this will also be the background to my video so i don't want to have the picture frame too high so when i'm filming stuff it'll be out of frame i think it looks nice it's not level and it's not centered with the couch but i realize i don't have any nails i only have screws because obviously i've never hung a picture frame so why would i have nails so i'm gonna go run to the store and go get some nails and then we will fix it i'm kind of like nervous a lot of the videos that i watched made it seem like it was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be so we'll see and we're off I need to find a store nearby I'm like a Home Depot a Lowe's would it be home improvement I'm just trying to figure out whatever is closest to me home improvement store nearby yes okay let's do it great news so i was in there and i was like i don't know which one would be the best one to buy and so a lady saw me and she was like do you need help and i was like yeah yeah and i was like which one do you think would be the best nail to hang a large photo frame and she was like let's come to the other aisle because there's smaller packs and you don't want to get a huge pack so she gave me this variety pack because there's bigger ones in there which i was like yes that's exactly what i need and so this would be nice if i need them again it's like a nice little variety instead of getting and it was only two dollars which it still is a lot but the other pack was like almost 10 so this is a much better Better deal. But now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do it. My issue here is that I own the world's smallest level, and so it just makes it really hard. Look at how small this thing is. This thing is tiny. Look at it. And so it just makes it hard to make sure it's all level. But I think I got it level, but like it just doesn't look level to me. I can't tell if it's crooked or not. The level says it's straight, but in my head, I'm like, that's not straight. Believe it or not, I own an even smaller level. So we're just gonna fact check it just to make sure. Okay, it says it's straight. And it says it's straight. I just like don't believe that it's straight. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it and then if I have to put more holes in the wall, that's gonna suck, but I'm gonna do it. I guess the only way to find out if it is level is to actually do it. So we're gonna do it. I'm so scared. Oh, I feel like this might be like way too big of a nail. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm terrified. Did I hit something? I might have hit something. But it's not going in any further. I might have hit something. I don't know what to do. Should I do it to the other side? I don't know. Is this like a stud or whatever those things are called? I don't know any I don't know anything about anything. Ah! 
I'm really annoyed. I could not get them into the wall to save my life. Like, it would not move. It's just gonna look like this for right now, but it looks so dumb on the side. Like, you can... I mean, I feel like on camera it doesn't look that bad, but this is hanging off the wall by quite a bit. You can tell more in person. It just looks so stupid, and I am so frustrated. And I don't even know if this looks even. Like, I can't tell. Every time I look at it, like, it doesn't, it doesn't look even. I cannot be trusted to do anything, clearly. I was so excited to do something myself. No, clearly not. I honestly feel so discouraged right now. Like, I can't even hang a picture frame myself. And I was so excited to do something on my own. I also am noticing, like, having that picture hung is making the nail, the nail that I'm having the issue with kind of drag down a little bit. And I don't think that's good, but it is what it is. And it, I'm just gonna deal with it. I still feel like it's crooked. I'm just kind of upset with myself. I was really excited and looking forward to that like I don't know I just was like really excited that I was gonna be able to hang it on my own but clearly not clearly that's a fail I'm like very disappointed and I don't know if it's crooked because the nails aren't in all the way so it's leaning forward that's just embarrassing I can't even hang a picture frame myself I hope that you guys liked this video. Subscribe if you're not already. I think this might be the last moving vlog, but there definitely will be more decorating, organizing vlogs in the future and my weekly vlogs or just vlogs in general. So I hope you guys are excited for more stuff to come. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.